All right, everybody. Sorry, it's been a little bit. I had a lot of stuff going on, but wanted to make a quick video and show you these new shorty shot shells that I got for the 12 gauge. These are inch and three quarter, and uh, I've got a coconut set up, so I want to show you guys uh, just how these performed. Honey, these shells don't work in this gun. Then get a different gun. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today, I have a single shot 12 gauge. This is a very, very light shotgun. It only weighs about five pounds. So, um, I'll look at all the specs, drop it in the description below for you guys on both this and the ammo. But um, very, very light shotgun, very compact. Brake action, you pull the trigger guard to the rear and it folds basically in half. It'd be a great backpack gun. Like I said, very light. It's wood looking synthetic, it's not actual wood. And on the stock, you actually have two sections here. If you take the butt pad off, you can break this even shorter um, down to the absolute bare minimum length you can have a shotgun. Uh, does come with a set of folding flip rear sights. They're bargain quality, let's just put it that way. Um, I honestly wouldn't use them. They're just cheap plastic. The whole gun itself, um, when I looked it up, it retailed at $116. So very, very uh, bargain shotgun. It comes with a full set of chokes. So it's got a uh, cylinder choke, which is what's in it right now. It also comes with a full choke and a modified full. So very, very good bargain for a very light shotgun. So let's go put it to the test and see how it does. Like I said in the intro, I've got a, a coconut down there. So we're going to shoot it with those inch and three quarter shorty shells and then we'll shoot it with four buck just to show the comparison in the two rounds there and just see how bad something this light kicks. So let's go get started. We'll start out with that inch and three quarter shorty. Not too shabby. Let's try the four buck. And this is Federal four buck, two and three quarter inch Magnum. Wow, I flinched hard on that. Wow. Also, didn't fire. Got a light strike. Try again. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that kicks like a mule. All right, let's see if we can recreate that no fire situation. Uh, I got three more of these, so let's see what happens. Also, you guys, it smells really good over here. Aerosolized coconut is... Uh, Quite, uh, quite pleasant actually. Hip fire.
like that smoke rolling out of there. Well, we didn't have another light strike on that, so uh, we'll see if that was just a fluke or if uh, there's something maybe a little bit more going on there. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman with the Rock Island Imports Daria Arms TK113 single shot 12 gauge. I'm really impressed with this shotgun, how light it is and how small that breaks down for staying in one piece. Uh, be a great little backpack gun, be a great truck gun, uh, anything like that. I did contact Rock Island and uh, they got back to me within a day on this. Um, talking to them, they knew exactly uh, what was going on with that light strike. Just take the stock off. The hammer spring is on a, a tension screw back here. They said just tighten that down. Sometimes they don't come from the factory all the way tensioned. So went ahead and did that. We'll see if that fixes the uh, the issue or not. We'll get it back out here and, and demo it at some point for you guys. And uh, we'll see. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative. I was pretty impressed with how the uh, little shorty shell performed. It did a very thorough and efficient job on that coconut. Not quite as much as the four buck, but at least it was a lot more comfortable to shoot. So. Um, if you haven't already, please like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. We're still pushing towards that thousand subscriber mark. Once we get there, I'll have a, a, a poll of a couple of different, uh, different guns that we can pick up for the channel next. So and we'll put that out for all of you to give your input. Um, I've got a couple of more videos that I'm working on. They're coming together and I hope, uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy them. I think they're going to be pretty cool. So stay tuned for those, and uh, I'm sorry it's been a little bit since I got a video out to you guys. I have been working like crazy and just very, very busy with life. So I apologize to you guys for uh, y'all kind of ending up on the back burner there for a little bit. I'll try to be a lot more uh, regular and uh, get some content out to you guys more regularly. So I hope you guys all have a great week. Be sure to check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram. Y'all stay safe, God bless, and I'll see you next time.